YouTube, this is Ace Pinkter. Have you ever found the need to delay your control voltage input? That's, of course, the output that comes from things like the matrix, uh, pretty much anything on the back of the rack. Uh, your curve output, your note output, your, your gate output. These smaller um, jacks are the control voltage. And although there is a function for delaying your audio, uh, I wish it hadn't done that, although there is a function for delaying your audio, there isn't one for delaying your CV. However, with, with envelopes, LFOs, and um, yeah, um, pretty, I guess those are pretty much the main functions here. Envelopes, LFOs, or curves created by the matrix, there is a way to do just that. And we're going to talk about delaying our curve. And I'm not going to use a matrix because it's a bit, uh, I guess if, if you're going to automate the curve, it, there's no point in doing this because you can just offset your automation. However, if you want to create an instrument which has a pre-delayed envelope or an LFO which does not track your key press but is somewhat out of phase, we can do it um, in this manner. Okay, so this is my instrument here. This is just a heavy guitar with an EQ. What I'd like to do is have this uh, frequency knob move up and then down. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to play the note for two bars and I, I only want it to kick in after the first bar okay so this is what we're gonna do and it's it's a bit strange we're gonna use a subtractor as a gate just because they're not very CPU intensive we're going to make sure there's no audio output connected and now this is the thing the subtractor is part of our combinator so we know that it's going to be triggered every time that this instrument plays okay I've got my parameter here for this um, equalizer. I've got this programmed to be uh, controlled by knob or rotary one. As you can see it moves. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to connect rotary one. I'm sorry. You know what? We can't do this yet. Just remember that we're going to end up connecting this to rotary one. So uh, this is what we do. It's actually quite simple. We are going to use an audio delay. So we're going to wire up our subtractor's audio output to this, okay? We're going to take this delay and we're going to feed this into our distortion input. And we're not going to connect the output. So subtractor goes in, becomes delayed, and of course adjust your delay parameters. I want this to wait um, 8 steps. Is it 8 or 4? 8 should be one full bar, I think. If, if not, we'll adjust it. And it's all the way 100% wet. Okay. So, um, this is what we're doing here. Um, I'm just going to get some, some noise out of this subtractor so that I know it's uniform. Volume's all the way up. And what we're going to do is connect our auto CV output we're going to connect this to rotary one. Now the thing about the auto CV output is that it tracks the amplitude of the incoming signal. So whatever amplitude envelope we shape with our subtractor will be copied, but it will be delayed by this audio delay. Um, I think this is pretty much set. Let's give it a go then. So it works, but uh, notice that it's tracking the envelope here. And you know what? Uh, we might have better luck if we use a cleaner tone, like a sine wave, as opposed to noise. I think the noise might be a bit erratic. So we're going to give it a slow amplitude, or slow attack. And also I'm going to back off this um, to about 45. So let's listen. Make sure we have the right offset to start with. Good. So it's a bit strange and at times it, be, it can be unpredictable, but what we're doing here, and I'll reiterate everything we're doing, 
I've got I've got a signal coming from the subtractor which is being triggered in parallel with my main instrument the audio output is going to be delayed and then fed into our screen the purpose of which is to trigger this auto CV output which again it rides the amplitude of our incoming signal which is why we are able to use an audio delay and end up with the effect of a CV delay So it's um it's a bit strange and you might have a hard time finding a use for it. So this tutorial might not have been for you. But there are other people who are going to be looking for tutorials that say exactly this. Hey, I wish I could do a CV delay. Uh, now you can. So thanks for watching. That's all I got. I hope you got something out of this. Um, if not, if not uh, a use for it, at least now you know what the auto CV output is all about. Thanks for watching. This has been an Ace Pinkter production. Signing out. <laughs>